Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had so many questions. How do we record an episode? Where do we find background music? How do we get our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places that people like to listen? And where do we find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Anchor makes it simple to get up and running. You can upload and schedule your podcast ahead of time. It publishes to all the major podcast platforms. You can easily check your stats. I could go on and on, but instead, why don't you go and get started? Go to anchor.fm slash start to join the e-commerce minute and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. We can't wait to hear your podcast. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 329. In today's episode, shop your values with done good. As the world of e-commerce grows, so do the choices for consumers. You can easily shop by price or selection, but do you know where your products are really coming from? Many consumers want to know that the money they spend supports the things they believe in. Demand for ethically sourced fair trade sustainable goods is growing rapidly. But this group of consumers realizes it's hard to find out if a brand they know is doing good for people and the planet. A startup called Done Good is unleashing the world's most potent force for change, the dollars we all spend. Done Good makes it easy to use your purchasing power to make the world better every time you shop online. Done Good is the online shopping platform that makes it quick, easy, and affordable for these consumers to find the ethical and sustainable products they want and know they can feel good about every purchase. Done Good can be used in two ways. First is the Done Good plugin. Shop as you normally would, and when you search for products, the plugin automatically shows socially and environmentally responsible brands that have the kind of product you're looking for right along the side of your screen. Or shop the Done Good shopping website and easily find thousands of products from hundreds of mission-driven brands all in one place. Done Good users also get access to exclusive discounts on products from Done Good's partner brands. Currently, there are 140 plus partner brands, including Patagonia and Warby Parker, paying to promote their products through Done Good. Done Good also has cross-promotional partnerships with major organizations like 1% for the Planet, Rainforest Alliance, B-Lab, and Free the Slaves. Done Good makes money via commissions, usually 10%, but as high as 20% on products purchased through the platform. Done Good was created with the belief that the dollars we all spend can be the world's most powerful force for change. Donegood.co. Done Good. Done Good. Done Good. So we've seen a number of these, I guess, what do we call these? Browser plays? Browser browser, browser, browser plays. hijacks? I don't know. What what do you call them? Yes. <laughs> what do you call this segment? <laughs> uh, the be browser plugin, like you mentioned. Plugin, okay. <laughs> and they're making money uh, via affiliates, which is a is a, actually a great make money while you sleep kind of business play. I think that's great. I like the mission. So I think it combines the two things that we like, doing good and making money. <laughs> <laughs> uh yes sir um well i mean there's plenty of those right we've played with bitcoin ebates is around i mean ebates has been around forever um by the way pretty damn good um and then this one so do good <laughs> yeah we, we were talking about lolly lolly was the bitcoin one i get they've they seem to be expanding their partner base which is great um and again you know you make money through affiliate marketing it's kind of like it's kind of like a no-brainer because the, the the companies are willing to split a commission if they they get sales and new customers and if you're promoting the products right there's nothing wrong with that. The thing that's good about this is that they're they're hitting a certain type of consumer. It's a probably it's probably a wealthier, younger person, someone who's obviously environmentally and socially conscious, um, who tend to spend more money if they think it's going towards the right thing. Now, the right thing could be spending more money if they think it's going to help their health or it's going to help their family or if it's going to help their, the planet or if it's going to help uh, any of the social causes that they're involved in. So they're, they're the more the type that will, spe- will spend their money in the right place and you, you, you know, talk, with their, talk with their wallet and give more to charity. So I think using this spin, because they're spending money online anyway, why not, you know, why not push it towards companies that also have the same mission in life that they do? Yeah, but also um, their site is kind of cool where you can search per um, sort of what you care about. Um, so like say organic GMO free and then gives you all the stuff that mm-hmm. is out there. Yep, so you can really kind of tailor, tailor the stuff that you want to 
the stuff that you want to back. Some brands actually, they pay them an initial flat fee for placement, which is great in their email newsletter or website. That's, that's kind of a no brainer too. They also have ideas for potential future revenue streams. Like you get a done good approved seal, which we've seen that in the past that uh, I don't, I don't know what kind of legs you get out of that because we've seen those seals like approved by, I think consumers get a little tired of that kind of thing, but you know, we'll see how that would go. It's also good for, you know, we said, you know, companies are placing their products in. That's kind of how Ebates works too, right? You, you, you become that search engine for products because people go in and go, oh, what can I get discounts on? So it's a placement fee. It's not only affiliate, um, kind of how most of those things work. Yeah. And it would be interesting to see how they increase their brand awareness because I just kind of stumbled on them through Seed Invest. I was just kind of looking through companies there. I'd never heard of them before, um, hopefully through our fabulous podcast many people will learn about them but uh yeah i mean i like companies like this i like people who are trying to do good and you know trying to make it trying to make a living from it we'll see uh like i said they're raising money through seed invest or that may be closed by now but go check them out donegood.co you got anything else on this one bart that is it sir that's your commerce minute for today we'll see you on the internet tomorrow that's it for today's show If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.